Quadratic functions part four. We're going to look at sketching quadratic functions of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Sketch the function f of x equals x squared plus 12x plus 4. Showing turning point, axis of symmetry and the y-intercept. So when we say the word sketch, we don't need to be accurate here. It needs to be a rough sketch showing these vital parameters. And I'll show you how I do this. So first of all, we need our set of axes, x and y axis. We need turning point, axis of symmetry, and the y-intercept. The y-intercept we can get straight from this equation because the c-value is plus 4, so the y-intercept is going to be 4. Now, we use complete in the square to find turning point and axis of symmetry. So the turning point is going to be a parabola with the smile shape with the minimum value being the turning point. And that is because we have a positive x squared term. So we're going to complete the square x plus p all squared plus q. So p is half of 12, which is 6. And then 6 squared is 36, but we want 4. So we're going to have to subtract 32 to give us 4. So q in this case will be minus 32. So the turning point, therefore, is minus 6 and minus 32. The axis of symmetry is going to occur at the point where x is minus 6. And now we have our three parameters. So what we can do is, first of all, I would mark the axis of symmetry on the x-axis. I would get a ruler. And then I would draw a light line, just a guiding line for the axis of symmetry. All right, and now I will mark the point on the y-axis, the turning point, which is minus 32. I'll get a ruler and I'll draw a light guiding line through that. And where these two lines intersect, this will be the turning point. Next, I will mark the y-intercept, roughly at the point where y equals 4. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw as smooth as possible curve through here and through the y-intercept. doesn't have to be perfect. Proportions might be a little bit off, but this is good enough as we're just sketching. And all we have to do now is we have to mark the parameters. So the turning point and the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry the y-intercept, and the turning point. And that's how we sketch quadratic functions.